Suppose three people are in a room. What is the probability that there is at least one shared birthday among these three people? Let's learn about this. We want to think of the opposite of at least one. The probability of at least one shared birthday, the opposite of that is going to be one minus the probability that there's no birthday shared, right? At least one means there's at least one group, three people in a room, right? Have a shared birthday. The opposite is, well, there are none. So one minus the probability of none. So now we want to think about, okay, how can we find the probability that there are no shared birthdays, uh, three people in a room? So the probability of none or no shared birthdays Well, <clears throat> there are 365 days in a year, 365 total. And this year was a leap year, but we're going to keep it as 365. At least the year you watch, or I have recorded this video. The first person has 365 days that they can have a birthday. Right there. No one matches because it's just the first one. Next, there's still 365 days total in a year, but the next person to not share with the first person can pick any day out of the 364 that are left. The third person, same idea. There's 365 days to choose from, but they can't pick the first or second person's birthday or have that. So 363 days left for them to choose from. If we multiply this out, we get a decimal of 0 0.9918. So there's a 0.9918 probability that in this room of three people, there are no shared birthdays. But we wanna say what's probably that they have at least one shared birthday. So like we saw earlier here, sometimes calculating the probability of something not happening is easier or the complement of an event and then do one minus it. So the probability of at least one is one minus this probability of 0 0.9918, which comes out to be a 0 0.0082. And so there's a 0 0.0082 probability that if three people in a room, that at least one share a birthday among those three people. I hope you learned something here about the birthday problem and probability. And as always, thanks for watching.